so today we're going to, I wanted to show you guys how I get rid of aphids. I have an aphid issue over here because they're all trying to come into the garage to hide from the snow because it just started snowing here in Colorado today. Um, so I started, I start with 20, uh, 20 fluid ounces of water and then I put one tablespoon of vinegar and one teaspoon of dish soap in it, which I already did that part because uh, I knew I'd be doing this with one hand. So, but then this is kind of the part that gets rid of the aphids. I do uh, cypress oil. Um, I do two drops of it. Oh, well, there's three drops of it, so that'll work. And then eucalyptus oil, I'll only put one drop. I usually do two drops of it too, but since we got an extra drop of cypress, oh, well, two drops of that. See, I'm messing this all up with one hand, but. And then uh, balsam fir needle oil, and I'm gonna do three drops of it. And uh, you gotta make sure it mixes really well. Cause that oil will just sit on top of the water and you won't get anywhere you need it. So I, I took one of the, it started with the pepper plant that I pulled out of the garden and cut down and brought in to, you know, I got rooted and um, started it in cracky, but I took it out of here because it was just covered with aphids and I didn't want to try to deal with it. But then it spread to some other stuff. So this is uh, baby bok choy down here. And this bucket is terrible, so please don't mind it. It's probably one of the nastiest ones, it was our outside cracky that I did peppers in all year. Um, but what I did with this is you just shake it up after you have it all mixed, your essential oils and your dish soap and your vinegar. And then you get to start coming up there and just spray it pretty good. It won't hurt the plant as long as you have it diluted enough. That's why I always, you know, kind of take it easy with the essential oils um, so I've only had issues one time that I used neem oil and I put way too much neem oil in and it burnt the crap out of the leaves but as long as you have a diluted, a diluted neem oil works really well but I like I kind of like eucalyptus and um, cypress and balsam fir needles best for the oils they seem to work better at keeping them away the neem oil will kill them, but then if there's eggs down there, they seem to still hatch. So uh, that's that's what I do anyhow. And then I got a few more over here on this radish leaf, and I wiped most of them away. You, you can just wipe them away, um, but it's a pain in the butt if they're everywhere to do it. And then like if they're on something like baby bok choy, obviously you can't really wipe them away because you'll kill the kill the plant. I think that was the only leaf they're on. You always check the bottom of the leaves. You can tell if they're eating something though because they'll get all over the top of them. I think we're pretty much good. I think it was only on one radish leaf. Um, but yep, that's pretty much, pretty much it for that. Yeah, let's check the squash really quick. Yeah, they didn't spread really bad yet, so I think that should... Should about take care of them, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's the easiest way I've found to take care of aphids. I know a lot of people that just uh, just wipe them off, but I think, honestly, to me, I think it's easier just to spray because it kills, it, it also kills, you know, all the, well, if you miss one, like literally, if you miss one when you're wiping it off, then the next day there's hundreds again. So I think spraying is just ultimately the easiest thing to do. But, well, anyhow, have a great day, and thanks for joining me.